the space fantasies of yesterday. Some of them are uncannily accurate. Turned engineering inspirations of today. All good science fiction usually is, is grounded in some degree of, of fact and, uh, and, and evidence. Those early predictions and concepts were onto something, but modern space architects are dreaming even bigger. I don't see a limit to the number of construction robots that can exist on the surface of the moon. Imagine a lunar colony built entirely from the moon itself with 3D printed launch pads, futuristic domes, and a network of space highways. It's a self-sufficient system. It doesn't rely on us bringing like tons and tons of concrete, for example. Melody Ashar considers every detail. And in some of these designs, you have actually a view from the South Pole to Earth, a constant view to Earth. Because her job means advancing the human race and creating a home for human beings. And you're isolated from communications from Earth. You're isolated from friends and family. The conditions are super, super intense. Sometimes the most groundbreaking ideas are just old ones reimagined. Ironically, the solution that we found goes back to like 1694. For Maxim de Jong, expandable space habitats build off a centuries old math concept. If you bend the flexible rod, for example, it'll take this shape or, you know, a combination of mathematical inputs that you put on a constrained object and it takes a certain shape, whether you like it or not. It's not specifically my invention. We added our own spices and magic sauce. The special ingredient, ultra high tech fiber, the type of modern material that can bend and adapt in space's harsh environment. It's a vast departure from anything that's been done with expandable habitats until now. From paper to prototype, testing these habitats of the future on Earth is a crucial part of the process. The bottom line is that you're sending something to space. So what you design and build here, you need to know it's gonna perform exactly in the way that you intend in space. That's very, very, very difficult to do. NASA's latest test, a mission simulating life on Mars. One year, four people living inside a 3D printed bubble. The floor plan complete with bedrooms, a fitness area, and even a garden. Which the crew used to actually grow greens and various types of produce, which they then would prepare and enjoy within the kitchen area. This is just a first step in exploring how we can provide an Earth-based analog solution for research purposes. They are earthly solutions for a world of unknowns because we are in a race to the stars and our future homes are waiting to be built. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.